Hey, Mark, we just got out of the Bruins locker room, a somber Bruins locker room, as you can imagine, after fighting all the way back from 3 0 to tie that game with a furious run in the second period to make it 3 3. Losing on a controversial call, Riley Nash going to the penalty box, and then, of course, the Senators capitalizing to steal this one and win in overtime by a final of 4 3. The second straight win for the Senators in overtime. And the Bruins had a lot of firsts tonight. Nolachari had his first goal as a member of the Bruins in the playoffs. So did David Pasternak. Charlie McAvoy had his first point as a pro, but it didn't matter in the end because all they wanted was the win. And I asked McAvoy about the bittersweet ending to this one. Nice milestone for you getting your first point, but a tough one there in the end. Yeah, no. Uh, you know, it was a great effort by our team to come back, and there's a lot of positives we can take from that, knowing that, you know, we squash, you know, a three-goal lead and we come back, and that's something that we can take for the rest of the postseason, you know, as far as getting down at games, knowing that, hey, like, you know, we we, we squashed a three-goal lead and came back, so it's, uh, there's positives you can take from tonight, you know, unfortunate ending, but we get ready for Wednesday, and uh, we're, we're a confident group. And Riley Nash was uh, pretty much despondent after the game. He had tears in his eyes. We'll hear that sound coming up at 11. But Mark, he's really putting this one on his shoulder. And said, he said it was irresponsible for him to have a penalty like that in such a crucial moment in overtime, and it cost the Bruins in the end. Yeah, we can debate the penalty call. Certainly a tough call for the Bruins and Riley Nash. But Yanni, I'm curious. They kept mentioning on the broadcast how loud it was in the arena. You were there. Was it really that loud? Yeah, it was terrific. I mean, it's been three years since there's been playoff hockey in this building, and before the game, this place had a just a raucous feeling, and then when they were down 3 nothing, it got a little quiet, as you can imagine. Once Nola Chari deflected that first goal in, and then within a minute later, David Back has scored. This place was at a decibel level that I've rarely heard in all the times I've been at the TD Garden. So Bruins fans are ready for playoff hockey, and they really rallied the troops to get this one into overtime. But if they come up short, they'll have to regroup and in game four on Wednesday. We'll hear more from the Bruins coming up at 11. Until then, live at TD Garden, I'm Yanni Karakis. Mark, back to you.